Hi, and welcome to this week's Think Thursday problem from the Worldwide Center of Math. This week, the problem is using only elementary geometry, not even trigonometry, prove that angle C equals the sum of angles A and B. So we've drawn the diagram of um, kind of what the problem statement uses. And you can see here, we've drawn angle C, angle B, and angle A. And all of these angles are basically extensions from the line straight from this corner here to the different corners of each uh, perfect square. And really looking at this problem, using only elementary geometry, we can't use uh, kind of like similar, or we can't use uh, the theories from trigonometry. Really what we can do is just construct different squares off of this diagram already. And from there we can compare different angles and know that they're similar without actually using any of the theories of um, trigonometry or advanced geometry. So to begin, I'm just going to construct two actually additional squares using kind of the bisection of one of these squares straight down the diagonal as uh, one of the sides of each of these squares. So using the diagonals of each of these small three squares, we've constructed two larger squares in pink here. And what we can now do is compare different angles um, in the different squares to show that angle C is equal to the sum of angle A plus B. So what we're trying to prove is this. And what we can prove, actually, is that if we take into account this angle here, um, kind of the angle between um, angle A and then the extension of this big square, if we call it angle D, what we actually can see is that angles A plus D is actually equal to angle C. And uh, you can see that because using this line that we've uh, constructed across the small square here, what we can see is that this line actually bi uh, bisects the square by going through the diagonal, which is exactly what angle C does in terms of this smaller square. And we know that these two squares are equal, so therefore angle A plus D must be equal to angle C. And now we're already a step closer to kind of proving that angle A plus B is equal to C. So what we want to do is try and find a way to show that angle B and angle D are actually equal. And using the two squares that we've constructed, we can actually do that pretty easily. Um, so looking at angle B, you'll notice that what angle B does is it creates a right triangle here um, based on this line that bisects a rectangle down the diagonal, um, a rectangle created by two squares. So Looking at this triangle here, what we can see is that if we look at these two larger squares that we've constructed, that angle D actually does the same thing. Looking at this much larger triangle from here, here, and here, with a right angle up here, what we can see is that um, angle D and angle B then must be the same. Uh, they're the same angles in two uh, similar triangles. And Therefore, they must be equal, uh, just based on comparing these two different triangles. So we know that angle D must equal angle B. And from there, we can plug it in. And we can see that, obviously, angle A plus angle B must equal angle C. Um, so. We've proved the question, and that's really all we have for you today for this week's Think Thursday problem. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, please watch some more of our videos on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook and subscribe on Twitter. Thank you.